Hi everybody, this is Mike Raccoon Eyes. I am a Cherokee Native man, a Native advocate in 12 Western Regional States. Hello. Uh, tonight we are here, I believe it is November 20th, uh, 2010, Saturday, at the Intertribal Friendship House in Oakland, California. Um, we are celebrating Native American Heritage Month, and as we Native people know, every Every month is Native month. Um, we are here on the tail end of the uh, Long Walk for Sacred Sites for California Indian Country. Today we have done probably about 12 or 14 miles from Alameda Island, Oakland, Emeryville, Berkeley. And we're tying it up here at the International Friendship House, I mean the Intertribal Friendship House in Oakland, California. It is one of the most oldest and historic places of its kind. In the 1950s and early 70s, the Indian country leadership realized that reservations were outdated, outmoded, and they made trips to Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. to the BIA to discuss issues about perhaps it would be a better way to overhaul the whole reservation system. So they worked out basically what was called termination and relocation. Termination simply put was that if you will renounce your autonomy, your citizenship of your nation, band, rancheria, that in turn we will give you 166 acres. We will run basic infrastructure like water, electrical lines, schools, paved roads, and the like. And don't forget the legendary 66 GMC pickup truck. That was a deal. We'll give you about 40,000 cash. Are you serious? I am very serious. And I will give you about 40,000 cash. And if you renounce. So the goal was... <laughs> so 40 acres and a mule? Pretty much. So there was a second way of termination. Now, you basically, the BIA, Bureau of Indian Affairs, would go ahead to send you mostly to the West Coast, to San Francisco, Los Angeles, Oakland, San Jose, Richmond. And if you decided to follow with relocation, they would bring you into the projects. Now, projects were a much totally different concept um, for Native people then. They were very fine houses. Native men went to work. Native women stayed at home. Based the kids, a more traditional thing. And so what would happen is the men would learn to come into the cities and do welding. They would learn some kind of a vocational trade and sometimes a white collar trade that ordinarily they may have not accessed in more rural Indian country. Uh, the women would come here to uh, learn my own auntie Trudy Brightman. Um, when she came here, she learned to be a dental hygienist. And the women would learn to open up small businesses like uh, dry cleaners, uh, variety stores, and the like. And so, where all this comes together, in 1955, the Tribal Friendship House of Oakland became a gathering place where Native people who were a long, long, long way from home could come and socialize, could come and get educated, could come and get their high school diploma. They could learn to speak English as a second language. They would learn, they would come to the cities. And so this place has been very responsible for healthcare programs, for educational programming, a lot of different types of programming that Indian country never knew before. The Honorable Wilma Mankiller, Principal Chief of the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma, was one of those individuals. You had a lot of fusion at the time. You had the Red Power Movement starting in the late 50s. You had Alcatraz. You had a lot of fusion of first-generation natives coming here, learning the way of the cities. And what the historic significance of this place is, 
Now, like this old man here. Now, this is this is Henry. Uh, no, my name is Gray Eagle. Oh, Gray Eagle. I, I am of the seventh oh. tribe of the Third Nation. And this beautiful lady's <laughs> horse. <laughs> you, You're very, very charming. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Let me fill you in the blanks. Yeah. I'm a Spanish lover, <laughs> Apache warrior, and a, and a Navajo <laughs> artist. <laughs> Harry, what does this have to do with the French? He was, he was in the there? middle of a lecture. Oh, and he's also and he's also a professional statue, as you can see. <laughs> oh, really? That's oh, like... yes. And I get off at five. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and your beautiful friend's name is Besides Smiley. Uh, yes, Miss Pammy. I'm Pam. Yeah. Nice to meet and you. Pam. He called me. Hi, nice to meet you. Pammy has taken up the uh, photo shoot. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> See how 